what is going on guys this is words with another video of anvil and today we're going to talk about a bill for one of the best support characters in the game so if you don't know about shuri but today you're going to know about her you can use her very effectively if you use the right setup so in any case for those of you that may not know or just refuse to know shuri is a support character this means going solo you are not going to do too well i'm not saying you can't but you know you see those guys on youtube showing you videos about shiri you know killing it with the third planets and stuff like that make sure you pay attention to what they are doing make sure they are showing you their skills and the relics they are using a lot of time they are at the higher level and they have pretty much everything you might need in the game most of the time that's what you need to pay attention to but for today look at this exactly what the description is for shuri and you will know what we're talking about it say she's a support battle suit with an integrated group heal module breeze heals allies while ghost wind gives the entire party boosted attack speed this particular breaker may be difficult to use in a one-man operations but it truly shines in a team you need to play in a team to find the full potential of Shuri. Now that we got all of this out of the way, let me show you the relic that I am currently using for my build that I use most of the time when I am playing in a team. So the first one, we have critical chip, increase the critical hit chance by 15%. You will see exactly why we use this. Now the next relic I am using on the second slot, I'm using the Xrium power chip. It says it increases your skill power by 100%. So if you can find this relic, make sure you use it because it will do you very good in the game. Now, the third one that I am using is the shield critical scoop. This is very vital for this build or for Shuri particularly. It says it generates a shield equivalent to 5% of max HP for three seconds when a critical hit lands on the target. This is the reason why we are using the critical chip because it increased the critical hit chance by 15%. Every time you land a critical hit, you're gonna have your shield around you which is gonna help you survive a lot longer so that's what you need you need to survive to be able to help your team as sure now that you have an idea what type of relic you need to be on the lookout for it's time to go over to the skill upgrade so i can show you what i am using and what you should use in my opinion to be the best shuri that you can be all right now that you know that shuri is a support character so you know for sure you are not going to spend all your points or majority of your points in the offensive side because you want to make sure you prioritize the defensive side of things before you start investing in anything else so now the way you need to invest your points in the defensive side start with five for the health and then go down to the close range, add another five in there. That way you can get to the regeneration. That gives you level max when you add one points to there. And eventually you will be able to go to the, all the other nodes. But the reason why you're doing it this way, because you want to start with a decent amount of health. That way you are not going to fall over as easy as they can drop you. And then uh, just go back to the offensive. That way you're not completely useless with your gun. And then add five to the weapon power. And that way you can go to the right side and then add to the skill power as five. Because you are trying to get to the skill cooldown and just put that at five. That way you can get to the kill power, which is going to give you one attack power increase for every kill. Now, the reason why you're doing this is because attack power is very important in this game. That way you are not useless with your gun. This is not a gun build. You are doing a support build. Again, although this is not a gun build, but at least you want to be useful to your team. That way you can do some damage and help them out. And then just use those relics that will give you the advantage when you do those kind of things. In any case, that's what we get for the uh, upgrade. But eventually you can put your points as many as you want in those nodes now we are talking about from the beginning stage of the game where you're trying to get yourself all the important relics that you can we're talking about between level 1 to level 40 42 stuff like that the reason why you're trying to do it this way is because around that stage you only have about 25 to 27 points and you can use them in one of the better nodes that you can use now as you know five is the magic number so you gotta do five in one node before you can move to another node so that's why we have to do it this way and eventually you want to try to end up with the gain shield as 
early as you can that way you are more resilient in the game with Shuri and be able to be more useful for your team now that we talked about how to allocate your season points upgrade it's time to go to the data and talk about the battle suit upgrade now some of the best battle suit upgrades you will find in game and you need to make sure you choose the one that are the most important so let's go over to Shuri Now the first battle suit upgrade for sure that we're going to talk about is going to be the gust wind. Now for the gust wind it says that you create a gust of wind which raises attack speed of allies. Affected allies are granted knockback immunity. This is not only good for your teammates, it's also good for you. But the best one when you see it you need to make sure you take it is this one right here. This one is grants you shield equivalent to 15% of max HP for 15 seconds on use every time you use this not only your allies will get that attack speed power you also gonna get that shield around you which gonna protect you for that one shot mechanic that exists in this game so you need to make sure you pay attention to that now if there is nothing else available then you gotta look at the other one and then uh, make sure you pick the right one for you but again don't forget about this one that gives you that shield whenever you pick that up now the second battle suit upgrade for sure we're going to talk about is a sandstorm sandstorm it is very good if you can get it to work for you and it says you cast a petrifying sandstorm that can pierce through enemies this is very good is you can use this as often as possible it is on a very low cooldown and you can get it as low as possible but the best one that you are looking for when you see this one you should pick it up right away is going to be this one the first one is it says you create two additional sandstorms when you this is very good because it gives you three sandstorm and then it can go to multiple enemies on the battlefield and they're getting petrified and you can do more damage on them now for me personally in my opinion i say this is the most valuable one but you know you can do whatever you want to do but i'm telling you this one is very good and then the other ones they are also very good but you know prioritize the ones that i just told you about in any case the next one that we're going to talk about is the breeze it says to generate a breeze that heals allies within a certain radius now for this one this is what you use to make sure that your team is staying alive and the best one to use for this one is going to be this one right here increase the radius by 1.5 times the reason why this is one of the most valuable one in my opinion is because it gives you a larger radius for you to use and you can bring more allies in there and you can be at a distance from the boss and then you are healing while you also at a safe distance that's why i believe this one once you see it make sure you pick it up if it's the first one you see make sure you pick this up because this is going to help you out the other ones are very good as well but you can prioritize this one because of the biggest radius now the last uh, battle suit upgrade that we're going to talk about is a twister teleport it says you teleport away while leaving a small milestone behind any enemy caught in its radius is pulled inside Milestorm receiving damage immediately after it's created grants an upgraded effect. Now this one you might be sleeping on this but don't sleep on this. Now I'm going to show you the best one that you need to pick as soon as possible. It's going to be this one right here. It says it increases the milestone radius. You'll see when you're playing the little one does not do much but when you have a bigger radius it can pull the enemy and as many enemy as possible in there especially when you're fighting those stupid robots and it can bring them in there and then you can just pound on them with your damage. This is why I say you make sure you prioritize this one. The other ones if you can't find anything else yeah you can just try to mess around with them and stuff like that but i show you some of the best one that you need to choose. Now we have been talking about survivability is the name of the game so you also have your weapons. Your weapons in this game for sure is gonna be a cannon. Now you're going to have the Gatling gun and then which is considered a cannon in this game. You may not like it but it is pretty good once you get used to it and you can do a lot of damage but not everyone is created equal. If you can find a tier 3 one that gives you all the benefit that you need especially one that gives you shields and stuff like that then you are good to go. Again you are not going to solo this game as easy as some of the other characters but you will play an important role for your team so you got to make sure you get the right relic the right gun and everything else and that way you have a lot of fun playing this game in any case guys that's all we have for the build for shuri it is a very good character if you mess around with her 
and just trying to do your best to make sure you support your team and eventually you might be the last one standing in this game and you'll be a very supportive character for your team anyway thank you guys for watching i will see you guys later